Today is Tuesday the 29th of October when I'm recording this and I've decided to go out on a hike. Is it a hike? It's not going to be very hikey. I'm not going up in, onto the moors. I'm going to do a walk around some reservoirs. Now there are four reservoirs in this set. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to do. It looks like the mileage to do all four is fine but we've had a lot of rain overnight and I don't know what the terrain is going to be like. So it's not a long way away from me. This is a relatively close um, close walk for me, but I thought it'd be nice to get out and do this one because it's been on my list for a while. And we'll see how we go. There's no sign of any more rain. In fact, there's no sign of any more rain at all this week by the looks of it. Um, it's completely still here today, no wind at all, which will be nice. Um, I've got my binoculars, hopefully we might see some birds. If the weather's good, then they might be there. And I just need to get out. I've only been out twice in the last five days. Um, one of those was for cleaning and one was just to drop off a parcel. I've just been working and working and working to try and catch up and I've done well in that respect. I've created lots of new products which I've talked about on a few of my recent posts, um, the bangles that I've been doing. So now I'm going to reward myself with getting out. I've just been waiting for a day when it's not too bad. It's not even that cold. I think it's going to get to 14 today but because it's so still it doesn't feel cold. So I brought my coat. I don't know if I'm going to need it. I didn't need it on my last on my last walk um, up to Pool Hill and that was really windy but weirdly warm. So I'm going to set my map and take you along on the journey and uh, see you at the other end.
So we've had a little bit of an issue, as you may have noticed. <laughs> yeah, Google Maps can't get me there. All the roads that it wants to take me down are like bridleways. I don't know what's going on with it. Anyway, so I've parked up right on the edge of the first road that it took me down that it shouldn't have. And I found that if I just stop here, I can walk the rest of it. It's not much of a walk. Um, let me just have a look. Google Maps Street View. The Google Maps can't get down any of those roads. So they're like, because they're not vehicle roads, I should have guessed. Uh, it's a 12 minute walk now to where I want to be. And it looks like I can park here. There aren't any signs or anything saying no parking and I'm tucked away on a proper route. So I'm, this is a, yeah half a mile walk so I'm going to do that so what I'm going to do is like last time I brought my breakfast rather than um, having it before I came away so I'm going to have that before I go um, I did bring a couple of other snacks which I might leave here and have afterwards because I don't know I'm going to need I'm not going to starve to death am I so I'm going to have the breakfast, um, get myself organised, and then <laughs> we'll see if we can actually get to where we're supposed to be. It's quite overcast today, but the sun is trying to come out. Um, we'll just see how we get on. Spot our breakfast, and then we'll get organised. Right now. It's weird because the place I'm trying to get to is an actual car park and you can see it on um, the Google satellite view of the terrain. So there must be a way in unless they've changed it. Not to worry, an extra mile on my route isn't going to hurt. As you can hear, we've had a lot of rain. So now I'm going to be walking up the road that I thought I was driving up. And when I get to the end, you can see where it's kind of like bricked off. So this is where we're going. As you can see, there is cloud on the hills. We're right on the edge of a town called, well I'm going to call it Staley Bridge. There's a pheasant in the field. Are they pheasants? They are pheasants. Very soggy pheasants. Um, yeah, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Staley Bridge, Stale Bridge. Anyway, that's where we are. There's, we're right on the edge of, apparently Staley Bridge has its own country park which I've never been to, and in fact I've never been to Stanley Bridge at all. So this is new. Look. Think rose hips mean it's gonna be a, a hard autumn or a hard winter. Is that just holly berries? I can't remember. Um, got a farm property here. But this is where 
this is one of the roads that the uh, the map was trying to take me up, which clearly is not a road. But if I stick to this, I should end up at the reservoir, or one of them. I'd rather just park up there and walk this last bit rather than having to faff around trying to find another driving route in just so that I can park right next to a, a reservoir. So here we are. Incredibly dull weather today. It's really dark. But if the temperature stays and it doesn't rain, this will actually be a really nice little walk. It's not going to be hard work because I'm just walking around reservoirs, but it's nice to have the water. Quite a few people out around here though. I think probably because there are lots of dog walkers. Everywhere you go, you're being watched by sheep. Even on an incredibly wet, muddy day like this, there are runners out. Horses in their winter clothes. There's a road down there, I think it's the road I probably should have taken. Never mind. And here we are. A reservoir. And look, there's a road. <laughs> and that might be the car park that I was trying to get to. Okay, so I'm just getting my bearings. This is Walker Wood. <coughs> <coughs> this is Walker Wood Reservoir. This is the first of the four reservoirs. And I think all of these reservoirs were put in in the 19th century to um, supply water to this area. It looks really moody up there today. It's really calm. Being around reservoirs is always really calm. So we are going to walk up this road here, which is a cycle route by the looks of it, or a walking route, called the Tame Valley Loop Advanced. So there's a car.
car park, probably managed by United Utilities who manage all the water around here. Doesn't seem to be restricted, but um, I never made it. <laughs> this is what I was looking for, the road. Um, doesn't matter, it's not much of a walk off my route. And I feel safer parked where I am because it's residential, whereas out here I could end up in all sorts of problems. The trees look amazing. Autumn is well and truly here. Everything is brown. So this is Brushes Road. And after this reservoir, Brushes Reservoir. I've got the binoculars with me. I've already seen some birds on the water which look from a distance like mallards, but I don't think they are. here. I didn't think anyone was living in this because on the satellite view it looks like it's derelict. It doesn't seem to have an access. I think it's um, unused. It's been like properly fenced off. Oh look. What was I saying about berries? Beautiful holly. Which might mean we're going to have a hard winter. I don't know if that's a myth. holly trees in with berries and Jenny Wrens are singing Shame about the aeroplane ruining the silence. Wait until it's gone and we'll try again. All the holly trees here have loads of berries on them, which I haven't seen 
in a long time. around here the pheasants. I saw some more earlier. That sounds like rain but it isn't. It's the trees. So, I think I'm going to go down here. The map doesn't seem to recognise that there's a road down there. Well, 
I'm going to have a look. See, footpath up there. I wonder if this is somebody's driveway. I can't tell. There's a house there. access to their house there. But this looks like access to one of the reservoirs. So we'll have a look down here. You can hear water rushing. So, I'm guessing that's the end of Walker's Wood through there, and I think up there is Brushy's Reservoir. So we'll go back. At least I came down though, because that's pretty amazing. Maybe wet, but the leaves look amazing. The colours are glorious.
sign has been there so long. The tree has grown around it. Look at the backdrop for that house. Beautiful hillsides and greenery. Brushes Reservoir, which you cannot get to by the looks of it. It's very frustrating. I was hoping to have a look at the, uh, the reservoirs. Looks like a squirrel dray up there. He's exposed, isn't he? You can tell the air is good out here. Good air. And I presume fairly clean water. actually allowed down there. It doesn't say keep out. It just says no swimming. Let's go and have a look. Because I'd really like to see this reservoir. there. 
I'd like to have a better look at it. It's very slippery down here. Combination of leaves and mud is not good. I don't know if we're allowed down here, but we'll soon find out. That's where we were. This is Brush's Reservoir. It has no walkable edges. It is just nature right up to the edge. Which is good. It dammed at the top there, but I couldn't get there. It might be accessible from the other side. It's not very clear, that's for sure. goes this this track if anywhere <laughs> feels odd. <laughs> Not in a bad way. But I don't really know where this is going to take me. Oh look, there's a little bridge thing there. It's the end of Brush's Reservoir. Oh, very cute. It's a very small end for a reservoir, I have to say. all I can really see with brushes. It's got a long narrow reservoir. And the water's coming from that direction. And there are two more reservoirs that way. But I don't know I'm going to get to them from here.
that weather looks dodgy. I'm going to go back because this path doesn't go anywhere for me. Um, I should have stuck to the path I was at. But you can't see the reservoir from up there. This is a nice little offshoot. Pretty place to come and sit in summer, I would imagine. But it doesn't go anywhere. So, I'm going to go back. And then follow the route and see if we can get to one of these other reservoirs. I was hoping to do a walking loop around these four, but I'm not even sure whether I can do that. warm. I've already taken off my hat and removed my scarf. I need to get like a proper Workman's belt to put things in. I really want my water, but it's in there. In my backpack and I can't be bothered to stop and take it off. So I'm gonna wait until I find a, a decent stopping off point. here are wonderful. If you're an artist coming out to any of these areas give you all sorts of inspiration for colour and texture. So there's proof we're on an incline. We're getting higher and higher. This is quite a lovely walk, I have to say. Despite the tarmac in fact just makes life a little easier.
all sorts of remnants of stone structures and the trees. I think in part because I'm higher up in, than the roots of the trees. You're seeing all sorts of interesting shapes in their branches. And some of these trees are clearly pretty old. When they're covered in moss like that, they make really interesting shapes. See, look at these. Still going up. Somewhere at the end of this is another reservoir, which I think is Lower Swineshore. And then there's a higher Swineshore as well. Then that'll be the four. And then if I can somehow find a loop back on the other side, that'll be fun. I feel like I'm reaching the summit now, look. I'm running out of trees. The top here I'm gonna have to stop for water. I'm really parched. a reservoir just over the brow of that path where that stone structure is. Man, I feel like I'm walking an incline today. In the blackbirds having a ding dong down there. This is good. So warm. Can't see what's down there. The sheep on top there. Manchester in the background, I think, maybe. Oh my god, I don't know. My geography's rubbish. I see a big city and I assume if I'm walking anywhere near home, it must be Manchester. <laughs> Lovely view from up here. This is amazing. You can look right down over the hillside. The colours are just stupendous. There's another gate there. I mean, this road is obviously here for access to the reservoirs, for 
United Utility Vehicles. It does make life easier. Now presumably this gate will take me down to the next reservoir but it doesn't look very accessible. Oh yeah. You can see where the dam is there. It's the window because they're all signs saying don't swim. But then there's no way of getting down there. So I'm not sure. There's no parking. Might be another access further round. The top of those hills is completely engulfed in cloud. As long as the rain holds off, I don't mind. I do have my waterproof poncho with me, of course, which I haven't used yet. But I'm just not really into hiking in driving rain. Well, presumably this path, this road, runs all the way to the next, next reservoir, which makes life very easy. Some pylons. <laughs> Little gate there. I wonder if someone used to live up here. See, you can't get to any of the reservoirs. That's really annoying. And then the last reservoir is in front. <sighs> you can just see. Swine Shore Reservoir there, peeking through the trees, and a little bit there. But yeah, surrounded by this gorgeous, these gorgeous hillsides. There's a couple of walkers there. like a little path down there but where does it go? I don't see any accesses. When we get to the end I'll have a look and see um, see if there's any way of walking around the other way. Oh look, house is down there as well. That must be what the gate is for. I wonder if that's also been abandoned. Should I investigate that, I think. Chatty walkers there. I'm gonna drop my camera for a bit. Right. 
So over the other side of this dammed section here with the green grass will be Upper Swineshaw Reservoir. And thus we have reached our target. I didn't think it was going to be as easy as this. Very walkable, doesn't it? I wonder where that goes. Environmentally sensitive area, ECA managed. Well, we are a careful walker, but do I want to go up there today? I really wanted to go along there around there and down that way. See there's the dam that we couldn't get to for the other end. And it looks like there might be some walkways but I don't want to get halfway around and then find I'm stuck and I've got to come all the way back again. <laughs> I love a pylon. The walker upsetting the dogs. And there's another little weir down there, dropping water down to the next reservoir. There's all sorts of potential little walks up here that might be good for next year. When the weather improves, I don't fancy it today because that cloud is pretty low. I reckon it can get a bit murky up on the hill there. But it could be quite promising for next year. land but there's proper walking routes up there which look interesting I need to research that now this tells me this is part of the Pennine Bridleway Pennine Bridleway National Trail and here is Upper Swineshaw Reservoir. The first reservoir I've been able to actually walk along the dam section. So we'll do that. get to the end of this section I'm gonna have a look at the map and see where we might end up because theoretically we need to be going around here and all the way back down through that valley walkers behind me. I think they have a dog. Oh look, there's a little house there. 
There's little houses abandoned, dotted all over this area. I can't imagine there's anyone living in that one. I don't know if you can see that on the, the camera. Why are we so fascinated by abandoned houses? <laughs> oh, those two walkers have gone the other way. That might not even be a house, that might be something to do with the reservoir. Oh, here's a good view. Oh wow, look at that. So if I follow that path up towards the pylons, that's going to take me miles out of my way. And although you can see what looks like paths running down there, It doesn't look like it's going to get me anywhere. That said, I think I can turn left at the end of this reservoir because I'm intrigued by that little house up there. And I'm just going to go and have a look at what that is. These reservoirs don't have a lot of bird life on them. There aren't any shores. So unlike some of the reservoirs that I've walked where, particularly when they've started to get dry and it exposes all that mud and the waders come in, you're not getting any of that here. So although I can hear all sorts of moorland birds around me, there are pipits and all sorts of things going on. See, none of these paths are accessible. This United Utilities property by the looks of it. So I think I'm going to be out of luck. And I'm going to have to just turn around and go back the way I came. Just wondering where that little path goes. Let's go down here. There we go. So that's not upper, higher Swineshore Reservoir. Higher and lower. Let's have a little walk across here. That's where the water's running down to the lower reservoir there. little section because I'm nosy and I want to see what that little hut is. There's a wonderful patch of sunlight in the upper hill there. Although I don't know it's going to make it down to here. So here's where all the water's coming down. And it's as you see, look, there's no there's no shoreline here at all. I mean 
these are really access routes for United Utilities, I think, more than anything. Looks like a railway line. That's a railway line, isn't it? Need to research that. Intrigues me. Look, that's definitely a line for a wagon or something. I wonder if that's left over from when they built the reservoir and they just left it here. Single bird on that water. See that? There's a buzzard. It's my third bird I've seen. sheep ahead, just up on the hill there. Yeah, look at that. Remains of some sort of railway. I don't know what that is, or what that tripod thing is. And here is the furthest point of my route. I don't know what that is. A 
There's a lot of water coming down off the hills. Look at that. See, what is that? And this is obviously something to do with the reservoir. But what? I don't know. This is where the kids come to hang out. And drink and vape. I've seen a lot of vapes when I've been here. Now that is a, a route I could walk there, but I'm not going to because it's taking me way out of my route. So I'm now going to head back. Down near that tree there on the edge, there are two little birds which I can't show you because it's too small. But I've had a look on my binoculars. And they're buntings. I will. They might be. I'm not sure. I think they might be female reed buntings, but I will have to have a look at that. I will put the information on screen. So the binoculars are proving useful. <laughs> They're really good. I was a lot more serious about the hiking. I might buy my own pair, but I don't think they're going to be that cheap. Look. Bits of the railway. I'll try and find out something about that as well. I mean, it must be to do with the workings of the reservoir at some point. So this is higher, higher Swineshore or Swineshore Reservoir. The weather feels a lot more murky up here as if at any moment it's going to downpour, but this happens up here. You can just change direction a little bit and suddenly the weather completely changes. So you have to be prepared for everything up here, really. jump. There's a male pheasant. I can hear a wren. Look how high up that water is. This tree's a 
pretty much buried. There's a robin down there. Right, so... where that goes. Let's have a little peek at the signs. There are people walking up there. sleeper, doesn't it? Bits of wall. There's a hill runner up there. going to take me though. I don't want to end up right up the top there. I don't know whether I want to do that route. I feel like I'm going to end up at dead ends and I don't want to be constantly doubling back on myself. Not to worry, we will go back the way we came. I'd rather that than get lost or get halfway along and have to turn around and come back again. In better weather and with better planning I might do this again and walk up the other side. I don't feel like tackling that today because I haven't planned it very well. I mean, effectively, I've got to all the places I wanted to be, so. That 
That'll do. Here's my fell runner. I mean, presumably he's done a loop. See, I can see those two walkers in the distance going up. Up the hill there. And then... There is a track. A path that looks like it comes down from the top there, but it's not very... It's not very defined. And there are lots of other tracks you can see, but there are no access routes. And there's no particular reason why that dam should be accessible. I think there's a scout hut down there somewhere. That might be what that track is about, because that building that was down there might be the scout hut. I can't tell. It looked like it on the map. See, if this guy has just run past me is doing a loop, then there's a way round. But I need to look at the route better. I didn't know there was all this accessible route up onto the moors, but the weather's very kind of hit and miss. So I'm just going to walk back the way I came and because I'm doing that I'm not going to record the return route unless I see anything different. It's just nice to get out particularly because I haven't really been out at all much at all the last week because I've just been so busy <laughs> it's not often I get to say I've been really busy with work busy in a non-pressurised creative kind of way so just walking back past the pylon and there is lower Swai Shore again with the dam that I can't get to and I'm going to just look as I walk down here and just see what I can see in terms of paths I can see those two walkers whose route I've been plotting and they are now right at the brow of the hill so there's a wall uh, going up there and they're just almost at the top of that bit there following the path that I thought I was going to take and as I walk down here I will be able to see where they go because further ahead you can see a path coming back down the hill but I don't know if that's a good sign or not and I can see what looks like a path coming back down the valley it looks like it's coming back towards the dam but is that then a dead end because you can't get access to the dam from this side so would that mean you have to go all the way back up to the brow of the hill to continue the routes and pick up the path further down. That's what I don't want to do. I don't want to end up doubling back on routes because I've reached dead ends. Look, more berry bushes. There's a lot of berries out, a lot of red berries, which could mean we're in for a 
harsh winter. At least the wild birds are being fed. So that's it, I'm going to switch you off and uh, I'll catch up with you somewhere along the road. Excuse my hair, I took off my hat. It's too warm. So, I am back at the first corner of the first reservoir, Walkerwood, that I started out on, that I started this. Um, the walk back went a lot faster and I took some time to just stop. I saw a flash of white in the trees and I just stopped for a moment and saw really stunning male bullfinch, which I will give you a picture of here because he's so beautiful. And as I stood there, staying very still, the bird life started to move in because I wasn't making any noise and moving around and I saw a small flock of red wing and all sorts of other little birds. There are people everywhere now. It's probably almost 12 o'clock now and there are hikers everywhere. There's that little house saw through the trees on the way. Where is it? Can you see it? Where is it? There. I think that's it there. Can you see that? I don't know what that is. Again, that's probably something to do with the reservoir. So I'm back at the dam side of Walkerwood and I'm just going to walk across the dam because this hike hasn't taken very long and hasn't been particularly hard and the train agrees and there's that's down at the dam side there I can hear a horse galloping. And then behind me is the reservoir. These are pretty big reservoirs here. And they're all kind of interconnected. So they have dams, so they like it's like canal locks. So they're dropping down a level each time and they're filling each other up as they go. Seeing some black-headed gulls in their winter plumage, which basically means they are no longer black-headed. <laughs> they just have a black spot behind their eyes. I feel like this area deserves more exploration. At some point I need to go back and look at my Google Maps and look at the terrain and plan other routes because I think there's a lot more on offer here.
and I see like dots of people walking up on the hills all around me so there must be all sorts of paths everywhere oh there's somebody on a horse I knew I heard a horse Busy, busy. A little access for the water. There's pathways everywhere around here. People everywhere, dogs everywhere. back to the car. It's almost half past twelve. Oh. Right, get my car a little bit tidy. Hardly drunk any water, look. That's one good thing about hiking in colder weather. If you don't get as dehydrated and you're not constantly looking for water and then also constantly looking for somewhere to go to the low which is a real pain in the backside because you can't always find somewhere right how do we do oh Twelve, oh, just short of thirteen thousand steps. So about five point seven miles. That's pretty good. No need for the walking pad today. I'm gonna cut my snacks. Even though I could wait till I get back. It's part of the fun, isn't it? Snacking in your car when you're out and about. Mini pork pie. The last one from my Sunday haul. It didn't last long. I love a pork pie. Can't help it. Right, so that's the end of my of my trip. Oh, my legs killing me. Ah, oh. oh, dear. Right, that's it. I'm waffling now, and I'm rambling, and I need to get home. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, not too long, I don't think, this time. But we'll see. Um, catch you later. Bye-bye.